this is why. And deglazing pulls all those brown bits up and makes a flavorful sauce. So reduce that down, and then sometimes mm -hmm. you add butter. You said a I little bit. I add butter bit. at the very end. Okay. And then just end. before I'm going to plate it, I hit it with some citrus. You can use lemon, oh, lime, great. orange, okay. tangerine. Um, sometimes I mix lemon and lime. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and garnish these shrimp. But you all get the idea here. I like your method so much better, it's not swimming in oil. Yep. Now if you start looking down at the little edge right here, I don't know if you can cast it on the camera, but you'll start to turn a little brown. You notice I didn't move them, just let them sit there. Right, so they that's get a nice key. sear on them. And that's the trouble. When people start scooting food around too much before it's it's ready to be turned. That's when you leave most of the food in the skillet. Mm -hmm. So if it'll you know, let you know when it's done. If you notice, these scallops are not pure white like yeah. this, like yeah. you buy in the supermarket. Uh huh. And the reason why they're pure white is because they actually bleach them. Um, yeah, they put bleach water on them. And they put, uh, I think it's called polytrisodium phosphate. And that's used for two reasons. To make them absorb the, the, the water. Uh -huh. And it's also made to preserve them. But these are what's called dry scallops, which means there's no preservatives at all. None. Um, they're day boat scallops, so they, they go out and come back in the same day. Within 24 hours, they have to be back at shore to call mm -hmm. them day boat scallops. They get more money for them because it costs more to produce them, harvest them. But if mm -hmm. you notice, they're not shrinking. No, and you know what? When They, they didn't ooze any liquid out, like right. that milky liquid so much that you see when you buy it at a grocery store. And really, that's I, when I first met you, that's your passion is... Fine seafood, the best quality, um, and you just never compromise. No. That's Not when it comes to what I put in my body. No. <laughs> and look at or that. Or serve people. Those are beautiful. Nice brown. Now, if you, if you started moving them around, what would happen is this nice sear that you got on would separate from the scallop themselves, mm -hmm. and then you kind of lost what you're trying to do. So we're going to let them sit for another three, four minutes. So you're going to start to see um, this turn from, uh, again, it's sort of like the lobster where it's kind of mm -hmm. translucent on the sides here. Uh -huh. And then um, you want to get them uh, so they're white throughout. Okay. Okay, on the oh, shrimp? That's beautiful. All that's right. good enough to eat. Yep. Okay, we'll put <laughs> this over here. Wow, we're getting quite a seafood feast here. Then after All that, right, we, can, so um, we can do the mussels next, or okay. I can show you how to open up oysters and clams. All right, we'll do the mussels next. Stay okay. tuned, because as soon as these are finished, we'll plate these up. Okay, we are back, and I am going to cook the mussels. And you said a tiny bit of olive oil after the pan gets hot. Mm -hmm. Dry pan, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic. We're going to throw the mussels in. Do right. they need to be covered? Uh, no, we'll and just, you just rinse those off. So. I just rinse those right. off, yes. All right, so you I'm going to do that. You can cover but you don't have to. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. See how much you want. See if your pan's hot yeah. enough. Let's, Not let's yet. do this in the All meantime. Right, so All right, so I'm going to get you garnished. You can see the nice sear that we have on these. And um, Beautiful. Mm. And all this nice uh, brown? brown stuff yes. that you have in here is going to That would be when really you would nice use sauce. the wine. <clears throat> we'll pretend. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay. And you want to take it and scrape that those brown mm -hmm. drippings or brown bits up, yeah. Yeah, and that will really give it some nice flavor. Mm, even just plain water smells yeah, good. It does. So you want to reduce that down, mm -hmm. and then is that when you put butter in it? After, After it's, it's reduced, reduced down, okay. and the very last thing you do is you put the citrus. Okay, so let's go ahead and reduce that down, and. Um, How many times is that pan getting hot enough there? Is it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, can I give yeah, you this? Sure. That's your garnish. Also, I have some other garnish here. And tell me when with this, okay? Is that enough? That's good. That's good. Yep. Good? Okay. Get that hot and then, well, actually it's hot. Yeah, it should be hot enough to put right, those right so in. All right, so just go pour those in. Uh, sure. And do I scoot them around or just yeah. let them? Yeah, okay, I will scoot. Yep. Those get scooted, okay. And it doesn't take long for those little creatures to open up, nope. does it? You want to put some garlic in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm good at the garlic. That's Ooh, good. Is that That's good? Plenty, yeah. Okay, plenty. Mm -hmm. Garlic's good for your heart. Oh, it smells good. Anything else in here you other than the garlic? Butter in? Yeah, some butter. Yeah. <clears throat> I love tomatoes in there too, but you said that comes later, right? Well, you can put them in there. That's I fine. I can. Sure. Okay. All right. Give it some nice flavor. Yep. I love tomatoes and mussels. You know what, um, Justin, our media specialist who is like the brains behind this operation along with Gina DiMario, but Justin's in the kitchen with us now. You need some Cajun spice in here. We can do that. Hot Texas sauce. He, that's his thing, <laughs> right? He's smiling. Put some capers in there too. If you want. Capers, yeah. Okay, I can I'm do that. I'm gonna put some capers in here. Oh, you're gonna do the capers in there? Well, we can okay. do both. But. All right, you do that. Look at this beautiful brown glaze. Wow, I just, nice. Instead of using salt, I use my capers. Yes, because they're packed in brine. Right. They're actually the flower bed of a Mediterranean bush. You know, they're mentioned in the Bible, capers. Really? Caper berries? Yes, caper berries. Now, you like the smaller ones, right? Um, yeah, because no, I like these. These you are like nice because the they're falling ones? apart. Oh, you know, okay. They, they get I had a chef. Incorporated in the sauce a little. Yeah, look like. at that. Yeah. They're nice and soft. I had a chef once who um, popped those in olive oil. And they oh, bloomed well, out yeah. like a little flower. They were pretty good, nice and crunchy. Okay, these are these look like they're opening up nicely. Yeah. Okay, you doing okay? On high? Hmm? I do, but okay. this is a small burner. That's the trouble. Well, yeah, so we can trade. You want to trade? Sure. All right. So I'm going to give you these. Um, and, and then you can just finish the sauce off. Okay. Melt that butter. Let and it come pour to it a froth. And then um, hit it with that. Just. That much lime is more? plenty. Okay. Yeah. And then you're good to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that while you finish up the mussels. I'm going to get you a bowl for those. Okay. All right. Remember not to overcook the mussels. That's what you said. Maybe a couple of minutes after they open up. Will this work? And you'll start. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then you'll start to see that the, this is not quite done yet. Almost. And how do you tell? When it's a little more firm? Yeah, when it gets a little bit more. Okay. But that flavor, that aroma is just, mm. it's wonderful. You, Especially if you pour the white here. wine in here as well. Oh, yes. And work. that reduces down. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite ways. And you know, it's so simple, as you always say. And seafood is so good for you, too. You know, it's high in protein. This is all good. This is ready to froth up. Okay, so. There we go. How are we doing here, Chef? Good? Is this ready to pour over? Yeah, pour it right over. Oh my, it smells very good. And that's right. just with water, not with white wine. I know, just think if it was wine, wow. All right. Okay, so we got, this is called multitasking, isn't it? There we go. And I'll Fun garnish cooking, it. Right? Yep, looks good. And we can garnish that with a little couple of Tomato, tomato, a green onion, or just the, okay. the coloring. And but that's, that's I wish you guys could taste and smell this. Oh, look at that. I'll get the tomato. All right, and these are done? Those are done, huh? Yeah, we got one just for you. Little oh, baby one. Oh, look at that. Little baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gee.